How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with... Fucking unboxing. That's right. Beautiful little unboxing. Hopeful beautiful little unboxing. From the fine state of Tennessee. First box of beer from Tennessee. Super pumped about it for a couple different reasons. One, it's a box of beer. What's not to like? Uh, well, the beer inside of it sucks. But two, Tennessee. What kind of beers haven't I had from Tennessee? A lot. Three, it was said to be by Gray. Never got any beer from anybody named Gray before because Gray's an awesome first uh, first name. Um, if that is your real name, Mr. Gray. And number four, Mr. Gray here, king shit of fuck mountained me in the comment section of, of my beer reviews. Um, in one of my beer reviews, um, he just kind of just joked about, you know, King Shit of Fuck Mountain Me, and they're saying, and I love that shit. That's one of my favorite phrases in the world, and for someone the King Shit of Fuck Mountain Me is pretty fucking cool, which means they gotta send cool beers. So here we go. Let's dive into this fucker. Box of beer, Tennessee, haphazardly boxed. It's like, I could probably just rip this open easily and not even really cut at it, but I kind of like the ghetto-ness of what we have going on here. So, let's just tear into this. I heard bottles clanking at one point. Nothing's leaking. I mean, this is, this is, a this is, a this is my kind of beer meal. Let's put it that way. You know, you're kind of, what the hell is this? It's like sacks. It's like a cloth sack. It's weird. Um, anyway, so we got a bunch of, hmm, smells kind of weird, dude. Um, let's see. Okay, crowlers. Crowlers don't suck. We got a bunch of. Got a bottle there, we got a can there, we got a can there, we got a bottle here. It smells like a mechanic. Are you a mechanic, dude? It smells like kind of grease or some kind of automobile or exhaust or something. Maybe it's arsenic, I don't know. So, we have a crowler. I'm not going to show you that one yet. And we have one can, two can, bottle and bottle. So let's start with the crowler first because you don't have to unwrap it and you guys don't have to suffer through that. Um... Let's see. It says Rockin' Dough Pizza and Brew Company. Hello, my name is Barbarian Pale Ale. Um, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, please drink responsibly. Barbarian Pale Ale. Never heard of this company, I assume. That's what it's called. Rockin' Dough is the name of the brewery. Um, probably super local stuff down there. It says drink local. You got a nice Tennessee little logo going on down there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Doesn't say the actual where they are located, though. So, yeah. Dig it. Weird. Should have never heard of from a crowd. I love the crowlers. There you go. First thing first. What do we have next? Ooh, cans that are... I love it when everybody... When people put the, the bubble wrap around the cans. Because <laughs> I don't do that shit. I just kind of haphazardly destroy everything. And next up, we have another can. Bearded Iris. I knew you were sending me some Bearded Iris. I've actually had... I think I've had one or two things in sips and, and shares. That's the only... Uh, stuff I've had from Bearded Iris, so it's super cool that I get to review it. Um, this is their Attention Please, it's double IPA. Uh, pillowy Tropical Citra, Bearded Iris Brewing Company. Uh, on the bottom here, oh, they have a whole bunch of shit written on here. It says the change, something about the change. And this was canned about two weeks ago, give or take, so yeah. Nice, that's what I like to see. Another can. Do, 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 do. Gotta love the cans. A little bit more bearded iris. And we have here Tunnel Vision. It's a double dry hop with Citra IPA. Um, let's see, cultivate variety, blah, blah, same stuff. And this was also canned, same time. It was um, December 22nd is when it was canned. It says on here, it says uh, Prison Dementors on the bottom. On the bottom of this one, like the, 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 the dating over this is like normal. You can see how they kind of have it written. And this one's kind of spread all over the place. But, um, you know, the labels are cool. Um, this one's kind of like a EQ thing going on. This is like, a, you know, kind of just pattern-based stuff, but it's kind of cool. I dig it. Nashville, Tennessee. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so this one here, the double IP, is Pillowy Tropical and Citrum, and this one, Zippy Lemon and Melon. So, yeah. Tree cans. One big can, two small cans. Done and done. Well, not done and done, because i got two more things to open here. So, let's see what do we have here. Dun, 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 Wiseacre Brewing. It is their astronaut status, barrel age Imperial Stout. Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Wiseacre Brewing. Taste the rarity. Hmm. This is, uh, I assume, brewery only. He actually told me a bunch of stuff he wanted to send. I kind of tuned that shit out because I want to go into stuff as, like, 
with little information as humanly possible. But I think this is something he was waiting to actually pick up. Either this was or those were. And uh, we've actually gotten some of the Wiseacre stuff up by me, but it's it's all their super shelfy stuff. And I've really enjoyed what they've done, actually. The stuff that I have done, the shelfy stuff I've enjoyed. So hopefully the barrel-aged stuff is just as delicious. If not, I'll say so. But, I mean, if you're making those tiny beers banging, chances are you're going to make the big ones banging. So. And last but not least, we have a bottle of Black Bell Imperial Stout. Um, 2017 limited release this is infused with cocoa nibs and Asian bourbon barrels. Um, it looks like, oh, no, okay, it's not a collab. It's um, Blackstone Brewing, Black Bell, okay, Blackstone Brewing. It is a, okay, a Nashville collaboration, but it is with a bourbon company with uh, Bell Mead. So, you know, Black Stone and Bell Mead, there you go, um, bourbon. This label looks super familiar to me. Let's see what it says. Black Bell has matured in Bell Mead bourbon barrels for eight months. This beer will continue to mature in a bottle, developing complex flavors and aromas over time. Uh, so yeah, cool. Two bourbon barrel aged stouts, two kooky madooky hipster uh, IPAs that everybody loves. Not a bad thing. I'm not disparaging it by calling you hipster shit. Um, and a nice uh, little uh, crowd there. So I'm kind of excited. I've been wanting to try. The beer diary stuff for a review, I should, I should say, for a while now. So it's super cool to actually get that. Um, the kind of out of nowhere beers, the kind of the Crowler here and the um, this uh, Black Bell beer, just stuff I've never heard of before is actually it's just kind of like icing on the cake. I always like it when I get beers from breweries I've never heard of before and uh, be able to get, uh, give them a little bit of a, a, a go. You know, kind of going into this, of, you know, assuming they're going to be. Pretty well done IPAs because a lot of people tend to like these beers. Uh, same thing with Wiseacre. They have kind of a history around them. But I always dig the unknown stuff. So, Gray, thank you very much for sending these off. You, are, you my friend, are king shit of fuck mountain um, for sending these off. And uh, I can't wait to dive into them, man. Um, infinitely generous people out there. They're on infinitely generous beers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy me reviewing all these suckers. And uh, hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.